Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash the like button and subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below, as well as some timeless love readings that you can purchase for $11.11 .11 if you like. Uh, yeah, go check all that out. All right, so let's get into your reading and see what messages are showing up here for you for August 20. 24 so you know like from the time you listen to this through all of the month of august okay you have hand of cards taking a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand and gambling coffee cup okay meeting and conversing savoring a moment feeling uplifted and friendship and you got separation hmm okay interesting um, some of you are going to meet somebody new in August and there's definitely going to be some conversation with someone about um, someone in your life who uh, maybe had a gambling problem and you guys are like, you're separated, you're not um, together anymore due to some kind of gambling addiction or someone who was just not showing what's going on not showing their cards not showing their hand um maybe took a chance or a risk with someone and they turned out to be very strategic and uh, calculating um i do feel like you know whoever you're going to be talking to this could be a friend or a lover like a new a new person in your life or just a friend um this person is going to uplift you give you a sense of like feeling better coming through as like friendship right um now i will say whoever the person is that was sitting there at the hand of cards or was just very calculating or maybe even had a gambling problem is also talking to another person okay i feel like like they're thinking about you that's why they're having a conversation with someone else about you okay um could you two people here be separating because of some issues and both of you talking about each other it could be because one is missing the other you know or yearning or unsure of how the future is going to go but um i don't know if that's you virgo you might it might be you it could be the other person as well but i will say this if something's over and someone has gone to another person why are they still speaking your name out of their mouth you might hear about this. You might meet up with someone like a friend or someone who tells you, yeah, they were asking about you. They're talking about you. And you might just be like, wait a minute. What? Why? It ended. We separated. They, they've moved on and they have another lover. Mm, if someone is still reaching out to you, they're still calling you or they're talking about you. Like if everything's so great with who they're with or who they're trying to be with, why are they reaching out to you? Why are, Why is your name coming out of their mouth? Do you know what I mean? Like, you got to kind of take an objective look at this because this is what I feel like is going on. Okay? Um, there's somebody here who I feel like is not over you to some degree, in some way. Okay? And things, whoever they're with, is not going so great. It's not going so great. And, and this, your person here, you know, whether it's a family member, friend, like I said, try to keep that, try to stay open with that. There, there's definitely going to be this um, desire to talk to you or meet up over coffee and talk about some things. Okay, they want to talk to you. All right, let's get into this here. Yeah, so hello, King of Cups. Remember when I started this channel, you guys, way back? And the Emperor was always showing up. And then for a while there, it was nonstop with the King of Swords. Now, I guess the King of Cups is showing up here. Okay, King of Cups is like, you're number one for them. Um, the King of Cups loves you like fully, full stop. They're in love with you. Like you're the you're their person. Okay. Um, but something going on with the King of Cups, and it kind of does fit a little bit with the Hand of Cards, because this person's very strategic. You know that the water signs can be, um, they they can be emotionally manipulative. They can be, but this King Cups in the upright. So I'm going to take both sides of it, you know. King Cups in the reverse, masculine or feminine energy. You know, when they're in the upright, they still don't really, sh they don't often share their feelings, um, depending really on the sign. But 
the king of cups whether you're involved with the water sign or not this person they can be emotionally abusive or a, a manipulator they, in, especially in the reverse they could be very insecure and they have addictions and they could be very smothering and stalkerish okay in the upright i feel like your person embodies both of this and both of these energies in the upright the king king cups can be very supportive tolerant empathic very nurturing and healing you know um but this person is they they have some kind of an addiction or s something not showing their hand right so that let me just take a look and see anything else about this yeah there's the queen of swords maybe you told them that yeah stressed them out <laughs> they have a lot of anxiety or your anxiety uh, maybe you had an anxious attachment and they were avoidant um, or your anxiety uh, got the best of you and you just like Bleh. <laughs> you just like flipped out you you like you dropped some truth on this person yep maybe you told them something like as a friend you know called them out on something you know um, but I gotta say in in some ways I feel like this person really loves you for that you know because I don't know there's something about Virgos they have a very intuitive sense it's more so with the older virgos right younger virgos i don't think younger like real young virgos really have honed in on that but the older the older my older virgos yes very much in tune because they have life experience they know when virgos get older they know to trust their gut instincts more and i feel like um this person does appreciate like they love you for it right <laughs> I feel like maybe this person feels like nobody calls them out except for you. No one no one will stand up to them except for you. Were you being mean? I don't know if you're being mean. I mean, I do feel like you're totally honest, though. Or you were. Or you will be totally honest with this person. Because they may try to, like, like I said, come back in. Make a decision to come back in and ask you to meet up. This coffee cup energy here. Okay? Yep. Traveling your way. Look at that. I'm traveling your way. I'm coming your way. I'm traveling by night. Do you want to meet up? You want to go get some coffee? You want to talk? I want to see you. I miss you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to be in your area. Or, you know, they might show up at your house or call you. You know, the Eight of Wands is all that communication coming in. Uh, lots of communication. Speedy news coming in real fast. Okay. Um... This person's a risk taker. Okay. But also, they're tremendously uh, trapped. Or they feel like a victim. They feel victimized. I feel like this person is going to come in and be like, you know, if you agree to sit down and talk to them or just, you know, whatever, t just talk to them any, in any form or fashion. I do feel like they're going to tell you, they're going to like, come across i don't know if they're gonna say this they might say to you oh i'm just like dealing with some like shady energy i'm very confused or you know i'm suffering a lot they may say that or th but they could be coming across with this victim thing like oh, virgo honestly virgos are like like i can't even respect that like unless you're a little child or unless you're like elderly or you're like a stray dog uh, and you, you need food and you need help and shelter but an, a grown-ass person you know, no, Virgo, if this is the situation, you need to hang a sign that, you know, comes down from your neck, like you hang a sign around your neck, lay right there on a the chest and say, I'm not your savior. I'm not your, your rescue puppy here. You need to get, there's a counselor over there. Go seek some therapy. Don't be knocking on my door for help. Most likely Virgo, knowing Virgo, especially the older ones, you probably gave and gave and gave and gave and put yourself in a sane asylum from all the giving you did because this person took got better and you wound up like what happened to my life you know some of you that might happen and depending on your chinese sign uh there's there's some chinese signs like who are just they're just so resilient that they just bounce right back you know it really just depends but yeah you really broke my heart i want you know i'm like i'm so like i'm so sorry uh, you left me you know, uh, I, w I was in this terrible depression. You know, I just want to talk to you. Now, they might say this, so they're going to come across that way. And if they don't come across that way, that that's what's behind the veil. 
you know, because <clears throat> it's, it's very calculating. I feel like this person, and, you know, I know you guys, you want like this great love story, you know, and when you get one, let me know. I'll do a free reading for you. <laughs> but in the interim, I feel like when you're dealing with someone that could possibly is like a risk taker, has a gambling addiction, any kind of addiction, like people, like when they're stuck, when they're active in that shit, that doesn't go away. It just doesn't, all of a sudden, they wake up one morning and they're no longer a gambler. I mean, these people, are they're no longer addicted to whatever, substances or whatever. You know, addiction is not bad. It, the addict is the one. So not bad, I don't want to say that. Addiction is not unhealthy. The addict is unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you could be addicted to tomatoes. I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. If you're addicted to tomatoes, it can only get better. You might have the shits for a few days, but it can only get better. You know, it's not the it's not the addiction so much. It's the addict. And I, and I feel like you've got someone here that they just kind of, I don't know, they get lost in their addictions. They can't stop themselves they try oh they probably say oh no i got this under control or especially if they're gambling they're, they're going to give you this it's not gambling i'm investing my money <laughs> it's like such a load of crap you know and they, they're gaslighting not only themselves but they're gaslighting you okay and listen if you're like you know how y'all you know how like um i'll go to the bingo once once in a while i've been in the bingo in like two months like for me like for some of us it's just a night out with the girls or we scratch off some lottery tickets just because it's fun you know what i mean but i don't it, i feel like anybody who's got the ability to be a hustler is going to hustler hustle everybody and addicts no matter what their choice is to be to be addicted to they hustle everybody so maybe it's a warning for you to just be on your P's and Q's. Yeah, they're going to try and come in and win win you over. That's the whole point. Try and win you over. I don't know what, what the... I mean... Look, I don't know that this person... I don't know that they don't have the ability to love. But I, I think because of the obstacle of their addiction, they just can't. You know what I mean? I think if they got help for that whatever they're dealing with, I feel like there's a chance. But when someone's active in this kind of shit, you can't be an enabler. You just got to like call it for what it is. And some of you might have already done that. Um, and maybe they're going to get help. Are they going to get help? Let's take a look. I mean, you could always hope for the best, but you can't enable somebody and you, got, you just got to like keep your distance from these types of people. Unless they're coming in and like, it's just like you got any more tomatoes i really need your tomatoes i'm jonesing i can't I haven't had tomato fix in weeks where's the tomatoes <laughs> Virgos be like all right yeah here take them go <laughs> go because you're gonna be shitting in my toilet i don't need to be like get out okay they're gonna come in with this love thing part of this separation what's going on is this person gonna get better are they gonna heal hmm what hey that's good news but at the end of the day right because i do feel like they're gonna have like an, a spirit like an awakening that's judgment right there yeah they're gonna have an awakening all right and they might have an awakening by somebody else in their life or or something you know they might have like a mother or someone that that you know says something to them or something i feel like there could be like a mother figure or a woman with child or children whether they're young or old it could be their own mother um, it, it just depends, but there's even with judgment here. I feel like this person is going to get clarity a wake-up call. Yeah And it's in the absence. It's in your absence But let me just give you a caveat just because you're hearing it here You still are responsible for vetting You're still responsible Right you, you click off this video later and be like, oh, this is what, you know, House of Virgo said that this person was going to get, and then they come back in, they do all this stuff, and then you just let them back in willy-nilly, and without really giving them, putting them on probation or testing them out, to, or just calling them out and be like, have you changed? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I, I stopped. Okay, so what are you doing in place of that to, to keep yourself from going back to that old lifestyle? Like, you got to find out. you got to know. Because if you don't, and, and they could be lying to you, and I'm not saying that they're lying to you, but, you know, everybody's situation is not going to resonate for everybody. But if they come back in and you don't vet them, they're going to come in and steal all your tomatoes, baby. They're going to take them all. Am I right? 
put a one in the comments in the chat if you understand what I'm talking about that judgment is a spiritual awakening life purpose clarity a final decision all right and I feel yep look at that they get their ego busted somebody says something to them I don't even know if it's you it might not be you it might not be anything you say to them someone external to you and external to them I feel like calls them out on something and breaks them down just destroys them right because I, I do feel like while they're in separation there is an energy of this person is going to be trying to uh, romanticize or be a sweet sweet talker or you know very charismatic kind of person they are going to try to in your absence do that but I feel like whoever they try to do that whether it's like their own mother or somebody else because you're trying to get something right here you go nine of pentacles trying to get it could be a virgo could be another scorpio or a libra could be a sagittarius cancer who they're whoever they're talking to whoever they're trying to get that money from to some in some way or they're trying to sweet sweeten the sweet talk them or something that person has some money they have something about them that they have some money and that person that they're trying to sweet talk or whatever is going to blow the roof off this freaking house the roof the roof the roof is on fire yeah break their ego that's that tower call them out like big time worse than you ever could because i don't feel like virgo i feel like maybe you gave truth right and i feel like maybe you care about this person or you did or maybe you still do it could be a family member but i think you gave perhaps or you will give like some true honesty but you're not going to be like hurtful or mean just maybe speak about your truth your what you need um and what you're not getting out of the relationship okay um but whoever this person because there's love here well whoever this person is doesn't love them they don't even know them or they do know them and they love them but they're not attached they were romantically okay and they're gonna blow it out of the water with the tower like the ego look at this hmm. oh they're gonna change everything they're gonna ruin them they're gonna get ruined by somebody else that they may be trying to you know get over on or get money from or something or do something with you know or more tomatoes or whatever trying to do here but in the same time uh this is somebody who's not dealing with their issues and they're running away so so they chase and replace do you know what i'm saying they chase and replace and then when that person destroys them, then they're going to chase you and try to replace and bring you back. Now, that's why that's where you come in. You got to be like, all right, hold up. I see you at my door again. Now, some of you, I'm going to just listen. We'll keep it real. Some of you are like, no, nope, I'm sleeping. Can't answer the phone. Sorry, I'm on vacation. Sorry, I'm resting. I, I didn't hear anything. I don't hear the door knocking. I'm not answering the phone. Some of you are in that four of swords in August. Or you will be where you're just like you know what let me renew my soul let me retreat let me rest and get away from this walking destructive person let me just pull back my energy i need to get into solitude and recover i don't want anything to do with this person some of you are going to be like that okay now some of you i will say others there are others of you who are going to have your your prayers answered about this person okay so i'm not gonna there's no fine straight answer here i feel like there's a couple different things but it doesn't matter because even if this even if you get a prayer answered that this person gets into recovery gets help and stops chasing and replacing and whatever they're doing even if they get it together you still you still gotta vet them these types of people okay i feel like we've talked about this before these types of people whether they're a, an addiction um could have something to do with like maybe they have people pleasing issues or they just they rebound or they just run and they go to other people 
you know, like, I mean, if you just take a typical addict, you know, an addict is, you're always, um, you're always a, a side piece when you're involved with an addict. You're always a side piece. You're always the one that they come back to, to get that recharge, whether that's money or validation, whatever it is. You're always a side piece when you're in a relationship of any kind, friend, family member, lover with an addict, when they're active in their addiction, whatever their addiction is, okay? Well, negative, a negative addiction, a destructive addiction, okay? So if you don't want to be a side piece to someone and you want to be like the only piece <laughs> to the puzzle for someone, some of you may need to take a look at this energy in August and be like, you know what? Is this person coming back going to bring me peace or is it going to be just another recycling of stress and anxiety and a possible nervous breakdown nightmare? Like this person, for some of you, is a complete fucking nightmare, okay? They're a walking nightmare. They're, they're wreaking havoc. I can tell you, and I always say this, when you stay involved with people like this, your money's going to be affected, whether they're taking it from you or whether you're lending it or they're stealing it. Or you, you're, or the stress and anxiety of these types of people will, like I always say, lower your credit score. It'll, it'll cause depression, make you not want to go into work. You'll feel sick. You, you, it affects you. It has a trickle down effect in your life. You need to protect yourself, right? This could be a family member. Could be your mom, if she's still alive, or your father. Could be a sibling, or a friend, cousin. Some of you need to pay attention. It could be a lover, you know. Now, some of you, like I said, <laughs> you're just going to, I feel like in August, Virgo, you're going to, you're going to be engaging in this mental sortie energy where, and you should, where it's all about the intellect and the thought and the evidence. It's like a lawyer, you know, lawyer doesn't go into courtroom prosecutor and start prosecuting someone based on a lack of evidence or based on what they think might might it might be no this is you being like i feel like your energy here is you're being very strategic and very intentional and and self-sufficient and honest there's there's no emotion here you cannot when you're dealing with people who are addicts you cannot use your emotional brain to make your decisions because that's how that you then you enable them and that's how you get you get caught up you have to use your intellectual brain your 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 logical brain based on evidence and facts put your emotions aside when you're in a healthy non-toxic relationship then your emotions are open them up baby Open them up. Share your feelings. And the, a person who's healthy that you're with is going to share theirs too. But when you are with uh, someone who is either avoidant or, ang or anxious or something, not anxious so much, but avoidant or very dismissive or active in an addiction, that is the last place you need to be putting your feelings. Okay, anything else Virgo needs to know? I'm just going to get one more card. Okay. For some of you, this, this person's going to come in as well at this King of Swords energy, right? Didn't I say? <laughs> King of Swords, King of Cups, masculine, feminine, like I always say. Lifestyle change, baby. I'm coming in with a lifestyle. I'm changing. I'm, I'm, I'm being very assertive. The energy is definitely going to shift with this person, but it doesn't mean you, you just got to be like, hey, our arms wide open here. Come on in. Doors open. No, nope, you got to be careful if you've dealt with this type of person before. Yes, they miss you. Yes, they're affected by the breakup. Why? Is it because they, lo they lost their number one source of their supply for their addiction and then they get called out on it? Or is it because they really love you? I do feel, listen, let me just, I want to give addicts, especially recovering addicts, um, some credit because these people do love. They do have feelings. They're suffering. And they are. And let's just be real, you know? I mean, I don't think, like, if you think about them as children, you know, they, 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 maybe they had a traumatic childhood or something, something, or something, you know, it's nurture versus nature. I don't know for sure, but I know they want love. And I know they, they, they but there's, there's a big struggle. But at the end of the day, you can't fix people that have those problems. You can direct them where to go, but they got to want it. They got to want to do it on their own. 
And sometimes you, the only way you're going to help, the best way you're going to help someone who's trapped in an addiction is to allow them to hit rock bottom. There's only two ways out. The one is hitting rock bottom and getting help and recovering. And the other two, there's three, but the other two is either death or jail or jail or death. You know, whatever they're doing. They always think they got it under control and they'll always say that. I could stop any time. Well, how come you haven't? Because I, I don't see anything wrong with that. And it takes years. It's progressive. It takes years. Some people lose it all in one day. You've seen people that will get their shit together after an addiction um, at a very young age. And then you'll see others that by the time they're 60, they've lost everything. Family, friends, all their important relationships. They have no home. They have no car. Their kids don't talk to them or they never had kids. Um, they're completely lost. They've, they've lost their jobs. And they're in debt. And then they become leeches. Yeah, so... Keep your boundaries up when they come in. And be persistent with your boundaries. Protect thyself. Keep the boundaries and maintain them. Okay. All right. Someone's still figuring themselves out sexually. This could be an issue with someone here, too. They might have, like, um... They're having a, a sexual identity crisis. Okay. There's that Mercury retrograde. You know it's happening in August. I forget when. But it's definitely, yes, it's definitely happening. And there you go. They'll be back. Expect to hear from this person soon. I'm telling you, they're going to come back. They always come back. It's, they're either going to come back because they need a fix, or they're going to come back because they hit rock bottom and they're, they're really going to try to make that lifestyle change and they don't want to lose you because I feel like they do love you you know addicts like they don't not love their parents you know you see them when they get well again they start restoring their relationships with the people that truly matter to them all right messages of love for Virgo okay children are important to this partnership Past life love, your soul remembers this intense, intense connection. All right, this is a past life love for some of you, not all of you. Okay, friendship. Person may have treated you like a friend or friend zoned you. Maybe they were a sex addict. Okay, um, or maybe you guys were friends and then they. This could just be a friendship, and you know things begin to. I feel if they get well you know start to lead to more for sure and listen this is i'm doing the reading for august but this energy like it's not an overnight thing y'all it may not even be a 30-day thing an awakening holy shit that's what we're talking about yeah there's definitely somebody wakes up going through an awakening now some of you might uh, be like i said meeting somebody new and uh, let me just tell you some of you might actually walk away from this or you have walked away from this relationship and you have a new significant other in your life in august that could be part of this wake-up call for this person too okay um you because that's genuine genuine when you have somebody else in your life that you're giving your time attention effort energy to another relationship that's a that's a that's a smash the walls what am i even talking about that's a wake-up call for someone like oh shit i actually lost you you know i actually lost you to somebody else you found better i mean this person's got some problems they got issues that's all i'm saying <laughs> all right let's see what the chinese sign is of you and your person here virgo don't forget you guys smash that like button and subscribe and do click the links below if you want to get like the twin flame reading, um, timeless love readings, and if you want to get um, on my nerves, you want to get on my nerve. I'm just kidding. All right, we've got year of the rat. All right, so this could be you or your person. Year of the dragon, year of the tiger, year of the rabbit, year of the snake, year of the ox, year of the pig. Year of the monkey 
and a horse. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, I always, why do I do that? I always put my charms in my Virgo cup. I don't know why I do that. I always forget. All right, let's get on to this here. Okay, Aquarius, Cancer, Aries, and Sagittarius. These could be the signs that you are dealing with here. Okay, September 4th, your birthday. September 2nd. September 12th. September 21st, September 17th. Okay, someone's 53. Someone's 43. Could be 31 or that's August 31st. Someone is 35. Someone's 56. Someone's born in 86. Someone's born in 68. Someone's born in 77. Someone's born in 61. Or well, that could be your age. 1988. Someone is 48 years of age. Someone is 28. Or that's August 28th as well. Um, rhino. I'm hearing rhino like a rhinoceros. Someone's in Ireland. Um, EIN. I've seen that before. Employer identification number. You need to, you need to give that to somebody? Or there's something going on with an employer, like a business or employee ID number showing up, something about that, very significant. Uh, someone's born in the month of May. Someone is born in February. And February through May, February, March, April, May, four months of the year that just passed might have been a very significant time period for you. Okay, the past, uh, yeah, February through May. Um, okay, so someone's name, uh, starting with the letter D, we have the letter A. We have an N. Could be Danny, Danielle, Danica, Daniel. Okay, we have the letter R. We have the letter H. Dana. Couple of A's, couple of I's, couple of E's. No, just one E. Somebody has a great Dane. <laughs> last name is Rand. Someone's last name is Rand. R A N D. Someone's, um, uh, they just gave me this. Do you hear what I hear? <laughs> Set the little lamb to the moon. Whatever. Merry Christmas. Um, let's see. Dara? Someone's name is Dara. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody is near you right now is there somebody in the room with you or maybe your pet is like near you right now okay uh ren r-e-n someone's name is ren or rena reed last name could be reed Araya, Ray, Iron, Iron Man, Iron. Something to do with iron. Maybe your blood, maybe your iron's low, or you're getting some, doing something about your blood, your iron. Taking some iron capsules. <laughs> All right, I don't want to keep going with that. I'm, I'm, I'm spent. All right, you guys. See what your charms are. All right. Somebody's got an alcohol addiction. I'm going to say that. Here's a bottle opener. Yeah. There is a connection here too. You know. Bottle opener. Somebody needs to address not, like some alcoholism. Alcohol addiction. Some sort. Okay. We got a blue ribbon. Somebody like has a blue ribbon. Maybe on their car. Or uh, somewhere. A sticker. Blue ribbon sticker. Okay, you also have a skull and hat. That feels very steampunk to me. Skull with a top hat. Significant to someone. You also have a mermaid. Also significant. You have blessed. And you have a yin-yang. Beautiful. Okay. You are blessed, Virgo. This person, whoever they are, they're the yin to your yang. Why? 
It's because there's some huge, huge lessons that either are going to get learned or you have learned. And you're just like better for it, right? You might be recovering from something here. Um, you know, that's the thing. People can come into our lives and it, and, or we come into theirs and it's not always for what we think it, the purpose is. A lot of people think, well, you know, this, this guy came into my life and, you know, it, it went this particular way and, you know, and then it didn't work out and I'm so heartbroken. You know, sometimes, and, and also a lot of times people will think, or they'll say, why did this person come into my life if they were just going to leave, right? But did you ever stop to think for a second, why did God put you in their life? Did you ever stop to think that maybe the whole purpose for you meeting them was so they could learn something from you? You know what I'm saying? Because when you're saying, why did they come into my life? What was the purpose? And then they left. Like Then you're kind of victimizing yourself. You're not a victim, Virgo. By any stretch, you're not a victim. You're very intelligent. You're very smart. You're a teacher. Sometimes, Virgo, you're so on point with shit that people run away from you because they don't want to face themselves. <laughs> but you know what? Don't stop being you. Don't stop being who you are. You know, you have extraordinarily incredible analytical skills and the ability to see through bullshit. Every Virgo does. It's a gift. That's how we know how to solve problems. That's why most Virgos are like in the, they're, they're working in um, finances or they're, they're involved in um, like um, the medical field or something. They, they just, they're very, very, very smart. Most, I don't know about you, my IQ is pretty, pretty high, although it doesn't seem like it most days. But I feel like a lot of Virgos are like that, you know? And the only, Virgo's only downfall is they just want to help, help, help so much that they forget that the, the adult that they're helping has two legs. Or even if they have one leg, they can get in a wheelchair and learn to roll. <laughs> the only problem, Virgo's biggest downfall, is that they don't know when to say, okay, I've nursed you back up. Now you need to get out there and start, get, get your walk on. You need to start walking the walk walk in the talk you know virgos a lot not all but virgos can sometimes they're when they get into their their bad areas that you know their negative areas they can tend to be martyrs and then they suffer greatly because people take advantage of them virgo pay attention to that if that's you not all some of you some virgos are just like yeah no not me no nope, i just call a spade when i when i call a spade i call it when i see it and I just keep it moving, you know? I don't know who you are. I don't know what side of the, the Virgo coin you're on. But that's just, you got to know that you're blessed. No matter what, you've been given gifts in this life. If you know what they are and you're not using them, you're not, you're not doing any service to this world. You know what I'm saying? Good service. When you know what your gifts are, start utilizing them. If you don't know what your gifts are, ask. Ask spirit. Can you show me what my gifts are? You know, unless you're just a Virgo who's like, yeah, I don't really want to do anything. I just want to watch Netflix and chill. So that's fine. I'm not telling you what to do. So I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoy it. I'll try to be back here tomorrow. I, you know, you guys, I'm, I, I'm so iffy. I can't commit to anything right now. <laughs> I just have so much going on. And um, whatever. If you see me, you see me. If you don't, you don't. You'll live. You'll survive without me for a day. But uh, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll be here. All right, you guys. I love you. I'll see you back here soon. Bye.